What does a light have to do with boosting your internet and getting faster Wi-Fi? Well, I'm going to show you. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. So if you've watched my last video about the router and its antennas positions, you know by now that it actually does make a difference which way you face these antennas in order to boost and get faster Wi-Fi and therefore faster internet. But what you might not know is that these antennas are actually changeable with something like this. This is a high gain antenna. What does that actually mean? This is where the light comes in and well, let me show you. Let's look at this in terms of a light. So between my two characters, I have got a light that's on and you can see that it's lit all the way around 360 degrees from the top, the bottom, the left, the right. Everybody gets a little piece of that light action regardless where you are around it. Now, what you can also notice is that whilst the light is spreading all the way around, well, the light at the top is actually going upwards is pretty much wasted because I don't have a character floating above the light but it's still lit up there. So what do we do with that? Well, what we do is we change the type of light that we have. Now clearly using this type of light, I can control the direction of the beam. I can point it straight at the one character. There's very, very little wastage happening on the top. And in fact, if I look at the character on the other side, the techie duck, it's getting a little bit of light, but clearly not as much as the first one. So let's take this back to the router. Well, our typical router has an omnidirectional antenna, which is like the first light bulb, which means that everybody gets a little piece of that Wi-Fi action. However, these lots and lots of wastages if you don't have two stories to your home. Why send the signal all the way up or all the way down to a basement? So this is where the high gain antenna comes in. You can direct the signal to where you need it to go on the same plane. However, remember, just like the duck, if you're aiming the signal in one way, typically someone on the other side is not going to get much internet. Okay. Whoa, before you rush out and get yourself the antennas, there's a couple of things you need to know. The first thing is make sure that your antenna is actually removable. Some of them might have external antennas, but uh, they're pretty much stuck in there. How do you remove them? No tools necessary. You simply unscrew these and it will come straight off. This is the high gain antenna that I got. It costs $12 from Amazon for four of them. Link will be in the description in case you want to check that out. And you can see the connectors are exactly the same. Now to install this, you simply unscrew your original one, screw the new one in, and that's pretty much it. There's no software, there's no configuration. It's just done. Now to be safe, you should really power down your router before unscrewing the antennas and putting the new one back in, and then simply power it back up. Now, if you're in a single plane house, single story house, you need to make sure that yours are in the vertical position, because remember, the signal is gonna go out more this way. If you are in a multi-story home, well, then you're going to have to play around with the positioning of the antennas as we've done in the previous video to try and get the best optimal speed in the upper and lower floors. But the big thing is, does it really make a difference to the Wi-Fi speed? Well, let's go run that test before and after. So let's start off with the router itself in its default position with the antennas that come with it. Now, it's important to note that the high gain antenna really is powerful on the outskirts towards where the signal is typically bad. So what I'm gonna do is let me take my phone and my Wi-Fi analyzer, let's head outside and let's go get a reading. Remember, this is the default antennas that come with the routers currently facing vertically and let's go take a reading by this rock. Here we go, we've got here around 263 megabits per second and it's settled around that, yep, okay. So now the only thing I want to change is the high gain antenna. Let's go back inside and do that. Okay, so let's grab all four of these. Let's go to my Linksys router. And before I change it, look at the size difference between the high gain one and the one that come with the router. So now you can get an idea of why this makes a difference. Good job done, takes a couple of seconds to do this. That's the default one, the Linksys ones. And now you can see I've replaced all four of them with the high gain antennas. And again, just for measurement purposes, you can see the difference there. So, any change on the speed? Well, let's go test that next. 
back to our rock position remember it was 263 before 292 let's see what it's going to settle at 325 again 325 325 okay there we go just by changing to a high gain antenna i've got a whole bunch of more megabits per second at the furthest edge of my wi-fi Remember to always check your router's documentation to check which antennas are compatible with your system. There are brand names ones and there are third party vendors as well. And if you want more Wi-Fi tips and tricks, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.